welcome back to the Wildlands campaign. Guys, today should be a banging episode. This, at this moment, the party has made their way through the deadly and dangerous Crypt of the Mogod. Uh, this is the fourth and we'll see what happens. The fourth and most likely the conclusion of that particular story, although we'll see, won't we? Um, at this moment, the party having made their way past spawning holes with long tongues and devouring tadpoles and acid gas traps and a giant pile of treasure beneath said acid gas cloud uh, as well as finding a small child one uh, well two small children one that uh, transformed and one that has not um, you guys have made your way through a uh, a kind of a portal at the end of a tunnel that is taking you to this chamber. Now, in the player discord, there was some debate uh, and people figured out that uh, the writing on the Jade Key that was the clue which brought you to this crypt in the first place was a sequence that most likely had to do with the uh, the frog, snake, maze, and sun shapes carved into the stones on the floor of this chamber. Uh, and there was some debate and some back and forth for a while in the uh, in the player Discord chat uh, about how to solve that. Uh, but I believe the players decided they had most likely come up with an answer. Now, this room, this room is really something to behold. Surrounding that crazy looking ancient carven floor, uh, in the walls are inset these many vaguely humanoid and otherwise skeletons. Uh, kind of in these niches around the walls, as though bearing witness to something. Uh, there is also a woman, disturbingly uh, inflated with something that seems to be almost ready to burst from inside her. Uh, she's greenish in tint and um, swollen, heavy, uh, with... Uh, well, with something that feels very wrong. But all of that is somehow not the thing that causes the hairs to rise on the backs of your necks, and your knees to shake a little bit, your arms turning to jelly. Something about this statue calls your eye toward it. It's off somehow, wrong, not quite of this world. And that stone statue of a giant frog or toad-like creature uh, has in its mouth a whole bunch of semi-transparent globules uh, like eggs. And each one of those has something growing and shifting and shrinking inside of it. Pulsating, if you will. Or even if you won't. Now, um, this is normally where I would say, uh, well, there is one other thing that happens as you guys come out of this portal and fill up this hallway before this largest chamber. Um, which is that this woman who is sitting on the ground 
looks over at you and cries out, bloodlust pouring off of her in waves with this delighted laugh. She says, ah, you have come seeking the gift of the Magad. Yes. And normally this is where I would say that uh, it was for you guys to take away. However, something else happens. Uh, which is... Breath. A voice in your mind whispers growling it says my son now is the time to flee the danger here is beyond you and your companions run there are great deeds i would still have you do and things I would still have you be. The portal behind you is closing. Run before it is too late. My You're son. not my real dad. <laughs> you guys don't hear the voice, but you do hear Breath yelling that. Um... Pardon me, Breath, but I believe that's a woman in front of us. Oh, sorry, I was talking to the, the evil being that's talking to me. Um, at the same time, Bella. Oh, gosh. As your hairs are ra rising on the back of your neck, a weapon that you carry, uh, I'm not quite sure, at your hip, across your back perhaps, the great double-headed axe that carries the spirit of someone awakens. And it says, why aren't you running away? Danger lies ahead. Keep skin and bone together, my friend. Uh, guys, I'm not sure that I want this gift anymore. Yeah. Getting that feeling too. Um. Akiri, you feel the yeah. very wrongness inherent in this place. And you feel as though it is incumbent upon you to destroy and eliminate and seal away forever what evils lie in this place. You feel like it's something that should not be. Cool. Vapos. Yes. You had quite a few interesting things happen uh, last session. Uh, you discovered a lot of histories, um, a lot of, you realized, amongst other things, that Jikas, your master, was either here or someone bearing his name, lay in a sarcophagus 
uh, in this former temple of or of of your order of monks, and there were there are mandalas here and there, ancient mandalas that are related to the um, elemental beings of which you are one. And in this room, Vapos, in a sudden flash of perhaps memory, perhaps something else, you realize that this was an inner sanctum, a meditation room, that has since been a, a room full of ancient masters ancient monk masters who are the silent sentinels watching over this temple, their bones preserved in mummified form. However, it has been desecrated, perverted. Some kind of desire to give themselves over to forces of darkness overcame the monks of this temple, it is clear. Um, the woman says, oh, and you have a sleeping child. Yes, yes. Come, child. Come here. The child, who was knocked out by a blow to the head, wakes up and starts struggling in, I think it was Bref's arms. Right on. Mm -hmm. uh, you are plenty strong enough to um, is there like smoke or something there oh yeah 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 that's right you guys don't know about that yet um the uh uh the child um, is struggling. Your arm. You're you're plenty. I'm not even going to make you roll. You're so much overwhelmingly strong. Um, so it's really up to you if you want to decide to release her. Um, not yet. Okay. Um, so she says, "Come, child, come. We will make sure that." You do not die. You have come before the Magad, and he is benevolent. We shall remove the poison from your blood. And you shall not die. She starts rocking back and forth on the, on the ground a little bit. What do you guys want to do? So, guys, what's the general consensus? Do we stay here or do we run? Yeah, we they pose. Here to cleanse this place. I'm in favor of running, personally. I definitely agree that this should definitely not be a thing. However, this might be a little above our pay grade. If Vapos, one... sorry, go ahead. No, no, by all means. Um, Vapos is just going to, or is just going to, very quietly say, something has perverted the core of this temple, and I will admit I'm still a bit conflicted about my order, but. Whatever is happening here, it must be stopped. 
If there's one thing I've learned in our journeys together, it's never to trust the shadow. Well, Vidani is pretty trustworthy for the most part. Um, and he sure doesn't like it here. But I agree that there's something very, 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 very bad happening. And it seems like a lot of women are being tortured and killed here, which is something that I personally don't like. I personally have very strong opinions against it. <laughs> Um, well, I guess really and torture. I guess what we could, yeah, yeah. Is there any way we could just like completely destroy this place? I wonder. There's a great deal of history here that should not be destroyed if we can at all avoid it. I, there are a great many questions that need answering, and this may be the only place where I can find those answers. Plus, I'm not sure that we would be able to. I mean, this is a big stone temple. I, I don't know, I, I don't know how we would begin to destroy it without some kind of very powerful equipment and a lot more people. <clears throat> Who was, um, one more thing. Uh, really only Vapos and Mavra can see. Actually, yes, Mavra. 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 <laughs> You have seen something like the eggs in the statue's mouth before. And only me? Hmm? Only I have seen them? Only you. Huh. They were in the lab below Deldam. where the Ilithid made the deal with a devil to create a disease. And you know there's power and incredible value beyond imagining held in those orbs, those eggs because of the nature of the vision that you had in another dungeon. Okay, we can't run. I recognize that this place is dangerous, but I think that we need to do this. We need to cleanse this place. Agreed. Um, Question, how exactly are we going to do that? Well, I imagine the same way we normally do, by murdering everything in sight. Starting, and I point to the woman across the room, with her. Vapos is just going to nod. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Um, is it Bella who is like on the verge of death right now? Yes, it is. It looks like it is. Yeah, I'm pretty close. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Well, I mean, I guess we might as well just murder or Well, 
Let's put it to a vote. All in favor of killing the creep lady, raise your hand. Raising my hand. <laughs> Neighbor is also raising her hand. Kind of. I'm scared. Hey. I'm scared of killing yeah. it. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of ones. Uh, Nico, I'm sorry. Um, okay. I guess we're killing the creepy lady then. Bliss, if you have an All opinion, right. you're up. Um, Vapos is just going to look at the pattern on the floor and kind of recognize that it's using the same symbols as were on the or, or that were on the disc that they found back at the loggers cap or loggers camp mm -hmm. and he's just or he's just going to or he's just going to say be wary of the tiles there may be something going on here I'm going to try something and then Vapos is going to dash forward. But he's going to, or he's going to run along a very specific path. Well, that should make things interesting. So that's his first movement action. Okay. Well, I am uh, going to stop you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, but well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Uh, here's what happens. Is anybody else doing anything uh, while Vapos is doing that, first of all? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um... Okay, so Vapos. So, okay, so uh, you, you can all see this happening. So Vapos is running along those stones. Uh, and as he does so, uh, none of them seem to trigger anything. Um, and uh, even though this room looks like uh, that is the sort of thing where that would happen, um, and, um, the, uh, the, the woman is watching him and she's like, she looks delighted when he steps in the room. She's like, yes, come, come. And as he runs across the room, she's like, yes, yes, yes. And then she tilts her head like this. Huh? And she says, Hey! No fair! You're cheating! My god! Help! And as she screams that, there's a kind of a popping sound in the air. And, um, Vapos's forward movement is halted as a flying invisible red slod appears well crap uh hovering in the air.